Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a brand new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, I'm going to be showing you a simple and easy way to brighten and whiten the eyes in Photoshop. It is simple, easy, and very quick to do. It really does not matter if you're a professional in Photoshop or if you're just starting up. It is very, very easy to do. But before we get into today's video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe and do not forget to go hawk smash on that like button for this video. And it just makes Instagram know that you know you love the content and Instagram will show you to other people. So yeah, so let's get into today's video. I know some of you guys say I talk too fast and I have an accent and I'll try my best today to talk slowly and break this down. <laughs> so yeah, so what's the first thing that I'll do for um, this technique? Um, the first thing I'll do is create uh, levels or curves adjustment layer. It depends on what you want to do. Right now, I'm just trying to like whiten the eyes. Then I'm just going to drag my whites in. Now, when you create the levels layer like this, the blacks right here, and your whites are right here. So I'm just going to pull my whites in till the eyes are as bright as I want them to be. Somewhere around here is fine. Then I'll invert my layer. Now, what does that mean? When you invert your layer mask, which is like this mask here that is put on top every adjustment layer, what that does is that it hides the layer. So white will reveal the layer and black will hide the layer. That's this white mask right here. Now to invert, all you have to do is hold command or control on PC, I, and I've inverted it. So now it has hidden this particular levels layer. So how do we bring it back? We're going to pick a brush, make sure that our brush, our foreground color is white, our flow is 100, opacity is 100, make sure it's a very soft brush, reduce your hardness to zero, then pick the size that you want relative to the area that you are trying to like reveal. So right now I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to paint white on my layer right here. That's my layer mask right here. So I'm just going to paint white. As you can see, the eyes are brighter, probably just, you know, paint around these places too, just to make the eyes brighter. So let's zoom out and see what that's done. So before, after, before, after. You can see the eyes are whiter now, same over here. Sorry, they're brighter now, not whiter yet. So right here, if you shoot portraits, you definitely run into um, people having red eyes or maybe like I did in this um, particular photo shoot, I shot with like a very high Kelvin, I think about 6,000 because I wanted a very warm image. And yes, it has affected her eyes, you know, it has made the whites just a little bit red. So um, we're trying to fix that now. So now we can see how bright the eyes look. If it's not bright enough for you, you can always come in and just, you know, pull this up you know, somewhere around here. That's fine. So I feel like the eyes are bright enough now. So I'm just going to zoom out and look. Probably not too bright. That's a little bit too much. So um, I'm just going to reduce my levels somewhere around here. Okay, so that's fine. Now, um, there's a technique to this, and I'll explain a little bit before I get into it. If um, something is red, that means it's warm. If something is white, that means it's cool. So you just have to put like a cool filter on it. And what are cool filters? Cool filters are things that are filters that are bluish. You get what I'm saying? So like I said, if something is warm, then it's reddish. If something is cool, then it's going to be bluish. And that would give the impression that something is probably a little bit white. So I'll show you guys what I mean um, and let you guys understand. By the way, I learned this technique from a friend called Andy Roberts. He's a fantastic photographer. You guys should definitely check him out on Instagram. And I'm just sharing it so you guys can learn something from me too. So the next thing I'll do is come down here and create like a new adjustment layer. And the adjustment layer that I want to create is my photo filter adjustment layer. Once I click that, the first thing that you see is the warming filter. Now this is, um, this is a nice way to just add like a filter effect to your images. But today, we're just going to be using it to whiten the eyes. So once I click right here on my filter layer, I'll come down to my cooling filter, which is this one right here. This is the filter I typically use all the time. Then I'll click on that. And once I do that, as you guys can see, it has affected the whole image. Remember what I told you guys about the layer mask uh, a moment ago? So all you have to do is invert this layer mask so that it can hide this layer. Then we can just paint it back into our eyes. So now we're going to invert this layer. Command I or Control I on PC. And now that we've inverted it, pick a brush, make sure your foreground color is white and your flow is 100, opacity is 100. And now we're just going to paint over our eyes. Can you guys see that? Now, the beautiful thing about this technique is that it makes the eyes white, but at the same time, it just makes the eyes look normal. I know a lot of people do the whole desaturation technique, and that just makes 
the person feel like a zombie, like there's, there's no life in the person's eyes, you know. But this technique is so nice because it retains the red, like let's say the red veins and all those things in the person's eyes. It retains it, but at the same time, it just makes the eyes whiter and it makes the eyes clear. So let's zoom out and see what this looks like. So this, let's put both of them in a group. So I'm just going to select both, hold command, select both or control. Then I'll hold command G to group it. And let's just name this eyes. So let's see our before and our after. Before and after. See, it's a very simple and easy technique. You can create like an action for this. And all you have to do is run your actions and just paint in the eyes and it's fine. So before, after. The eyes look natural. They look great. They look the way they're supposed to look. But at the same time, they look wider. If you want it to be a lot wider than this, you can always duplicate your photo filter and reduce the opacity till it fits what you're going for then you know it looks wider than before now so yeah that's the technique for today how to whiten eyes as you guys can see whiten and brighten eyes let's see the before and after you can see how eyes have come to life if you want to watch another tutorial about how to retouch eyes i have a video on how to make eyes pop i'll put the description in the below or i'll put a card up here for you guys to see i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did go hawk smash on that like button also comment below let me know what tutorial you want to see next and i'll see if i can make that happen thank you very much for watching today's video my name is prince mason i'll see you guys in the next one have a fantastic week ahead of you peace